So one thing that I just know, that we, that I was just pointing out is the fact that there's no music in this game. <laughs> or like there's, no, there's not, there's no music playing at least right now. So like, it's just, uh, why? We're gonna have to put it our own right here. All right, Mike, start singing. It tickles me that you didn't ask the music major to start singing, you asked Mike. You asked me to start making random noises. Now, Chris, why would I ask the music major to sing? I mean, I just don't see the logic behind that. I mean, Sorry, what would a music? My I mean, what would a music major know about music? That's... Oh, shit, you're not as much as you think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, does the, the page play the the Bakugan Bros and Big Bro? No, it's just kind of a generic like da 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 da. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade Chaos Blaster. <laughs> It actually kind of is. Classical music. <laughs> Except, like, kind of techno-y. Or, like, jazz. That, see, that would actually give this game something of an identity, and we can't have that. Bakugan is what making... Would if the title page had, like, screamo? Um, <laughs> I would have... Mike, I like metal. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Oh, shit! <laughs> Earthquacks. <laughs> it's a called an earthquake, he <laughs> he, you dummy. You stupid, dumb, ugly, gay idiot. <laughs> Whoa. And that was too many insults at once. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's not he's not ugly. <laughs> he was about to come over and say something about it. He decided to run. Run! <laughs> Escape! I bless these FBI guys. I'm sorry, hang on a sec. Are you seeing this? Oh my god, so as I'm... My god, look how far this thing extends! Like, okay. Right here. Right here is where the, where the wall is. <laughs> but here I go. <laughs> Brawl. Oh, secure, secure Who's Armand? <laughs> it's not even that they're trying to prevent you from going left, it's just like a terribly made collision spot. <laughs> okay, so I've seen I I've been I've been playing this game for a bit now, and I've seen several points where you complete a quest, and the person you completed the quest for just straight walks through you. <laughs> Because I guess this game had the budget of a toothpick when they were making it. <laughs> Which I'm sad that there's so much wrong with this game because I love Way Forward. <laughs> this is Way Forward. Yeah, this is Way Forward. That was the whole sell. Is during a Nintendo Direct, they were like a new game by Way Forward. Like well, actually, no. What happened was they were they were gonna do a. A, a Nintendo treehouse for Paper Mario, the, the the Origami King, and they were um. They also said like, "There's a new game coming out from Way Forward that we're gonna be talking about during this direct," and everyone's like, you know, oh, yeah. speculating like crazy because why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh yeah, they hyped it up for the end, and it's this. And it's this, like, okay. Wait, did I literally did fifty backflips from my seat? I don't know. I am not entire. I'm not. I, I don't know. I need to like try that one again from the start because I I got stuck. Uh, <laughs> they don't really have so a map. You have, you have played that game. I've played. I've played up to a point. I have to try it again. Although, so I did order a copy of a physical version from Limited Run Games last September. <laughs> 
Yeah, and still haven't got that. But this one is special because this is a reissue of the Game Boy Color version. <laughs> yeah, they're selling working Game Boy Color cartridges. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Can you like email them and be like, yo? It says that, it says they're still in production, and I got an email recently saying like they're about they're like close to shipping. So like make sure you're oh. eating. So they like reproduce them? Y yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're making like brand cool. brand new ones, which is especially great because so the original Shantae came out on Game Boy Color after the Game Boy Advance came out. Oh uh, yeah, so it was probably very very little. Yep, and uh yeah, they don't really it, they, they go for like around 500 bucks on eBay. <laughs> Yup, for 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. What kind of systems do they make stuff for? Everything modern. PC, PS4, Switch. I haven't seen anything Xbox yet, but I'm... Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. So is it really worth to make some old stuff on Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually, have the original Xbox. Why do you say that? Oh, nice. You should, like, look into okay. collecting for that. Apparently, like, the, the original Xbox is, like, the joke of the collecting world. Really? So, yeah, yeah, so everything... Most of the games for, like, a dollar or less because it had so many... Yeah, the, most of the original games like, dirt cheap. Yeah. Oh, but I had, like, I played, like, uh, nostalgia. It's probably nostalgia, but I played, like, great childhood games like Codename, Kid Next Door, Animaniacs. I did actually. Heck yeah, you did. I finished it. It is. I liked it. Yeah. There were some points where I th I felt they got a little bit too political. Oh, like the fuck control is literally not subtle at all. Yeah, like. Mm. <laughs> What's weird is it was just the, the episode and then they just inserted the whole anime segment. Yeah, like that's so weird. Where's that? Why? <laughs> They did! That was really good! <laughs> to the point where I'm afraid for Rule 34 Anime Dot. Oh no. Oh god, I didn't even fathom that. Bruh! I made the Caillou Hentai joke. I have to fathom this! Eric is legally obligated to fathom things that should not be fathomed. I feel like that Caillou thing is probably what's gonna get, get like, like, there's some foreboding scandal like, for every YouTube channel. Oh. That's gonna be it. Yeah, that's gonna be like. So there's gonna be a rumor come out about like I'm I'm doing some naughty things with children, and then like they're gonna point to that as like evidence that it's, yeah, it's real. I'm like, no, I swear it was a joke. As I as I literally have it on one of my shirts. <laughs> the word Caillou Hentai, not actual Caillou Hentai. <laughs> Let me clarify. I did not put actual Caillou Hentai on my shirt. That would be horrifying. The FBI is like, we got him. <laughs> as, I, as I just get, like, sniped. The easiest to bust. <laughs> he literally wrote it in, he literally wrote the evidence in the lyrics of his songs. There was some metal singer who was like that, where it's like, they found, like, dozens of skulls in his basement. And he had songs like, uh, my, like, my basement is full of skulls and I have knives in my house for murder. Like, huh? Oh, you mean to tell like me this man was a murderer? Rappers. What a shock! <laughs> that's like how when rappers talk about like shooting or doing drugs, I'm just like, this is cool. But then when they actually, you know, it comes out that they either died of a drug overdose or got shot, they're just like, how did this happen? I find it hilarious how, like, whenever, so, like, whenever a rapper dies, there's always like an influx of like, oh my gosh, his music changed my life. And I'm like, I've literally never heard of this man in my life. Yeah. That was me with. Uh... See that about like a lot. Yeah. But they're just out there. Like I recently, like I recently heard that the Brazilian voice actress for Toph died recently. Oh yeah. Is the Mexican voice actress for um Jesse, Jesse from Pokemon? Yes, I heard about that too. Big sad. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because it's Cinco de Mayo right now. 
Oh shit, it is! <laughs> I know that like barely has any correlation, but I'm <coughs> I didn't... No. Uh, no, that's uh, that's Dia de, 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 de los Muertos. Oh, that's, uh, everyone thinks Cinco de Mayo is like the independence thing. No, it's actually like uh, like it was they were liberated off of uh, French's uh, army, like Napoleon's yeah, forces, was... I think. Wait, wait. Yeah, no, it's not not earning independence. It was a it was a specific battle against the. That, was, uh, that Mexican independence is actually in September. Oh. Huh. So, Interesting. Good to keep in mind. Did she play like that, like, did she play like that one song where it's like, uh, va like, vamos a la playa, a mi me gusta baila. Uh, no, she played like, uh, you know, like the banda songs where it's basically like, uh, like the accordion and all that stuff. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's basically, it's like the most generic stuff and everyone was just like, I'm going to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta roll with it, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I saw something where it's like, uh, so apparently the, like, I think it's like Chorito or whatever it is, it's like the, the, the it's some company that has like a Mexican guy, like a Mexican guy in a sombrero on their, uh, as their branding. It's like, they'll be keeping this, this branding because Mexicans aren't little crybaby bitches. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Do they have like a blue shirt with a red sombrero? Dude, sombrero. Yeah, I, you know it's funny, I actually have like a like a assortment of sombreros in my basement. I mean it's just the uh, sombrero is just like an icon at this point. Oh yeah. Well it's a, it's a legitimate thing of Mexican culture. It's not. It's not just something. It's not just something like white people made up. <laughs> like the. Like the. <laughs> white people made up Mexicans. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Why am I only the last to know? Mike, you didn't get the facts. Is is is? Uh, do we not use those anymore? I, I did my best. Do you not use fax machines anymore? Oh, yeah, I'll send him a telegram, SMH. I'll I mean, well, he should have got my like, carrier pigeon. I'll get, like, uh, like, employers, or when I'm asking for, like, school information, they'll be like, here, I make sure you fax it to me. Like, Wait, what? Are you serious? Like, or, or they'll be like, here, let me get it one second, and they'll receive something from their fax machine. Huh. Yeah, right? <sighs> I was gonna say something, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, what was it relating to? Uh, something about the fax machine. Oh, show me the car. No, no, I don't remember. I lost it, has gone into the ether forever. <laughs> That's still th I don't know. I don't remember. This mammoth sounds way too much like a man for me to, for me, for comfort. Ooh, that actually reminds me of something. Have you guys ever heard of the movie uh, Armageddon? Not Armageddon. Um, shit! What what was the name of the movie? It was like in tw it was in 2018. It was about like this this team of scientists going into this area where like a bunch of mutations were happening, and it had Natalie Portman. It's good not to tell you as we've discussed before. I am not the one first in movies. Well, yeah. Right, look up all the, uh, look the up like. Look up horrifying bear, like horrifying bear monster. Oh, we're we're like, 
we'll have to look up horrifying bear monsters next time.